How you doing? My name is Mike Ulrich. I'm here today at Marine Max Venice, and today I have the opportunity to give you a video walkthrough on a 2024 280 Outrage. Starting off on the back of the boat, this one is going to come equipped with twin Mercury 300s, and this boat is going to have joystick integrated into it as well. With that, you're going to get autopilot and auto heading sky hook. And I'll give you a little bit more about that when we're standing over at the helm. But right off the bat in the back of the boat, you're going to notice that this one has a different interior that you're not used to seeing on any of the whalers. That's because it's exclusive to the Outrage package. This one is going to be their sea gray. You can still get the shore tan if you want to, but it's nice that exclusively offered in the Outrage series is going to be this gray. Patented whaler seat in the Outrage. Flip that up, get it out of the way. This one is their offshore flagship battle wagon. That is what the Outrage is known for. It's for going offshore. It's going for deep, going long, doing a lot of fishing. This one's going to have that. Standard in the back of the boat, this one is going to be their live well, but it is not one. There is two. Moving forward, you're going to have another one right here. This one is a nice deep bait well, 35 gallon, perfect spot. Freshwater sink off to the side. This is a great spot to grab your bait out of, get your sabikis ready, and toss them offshore. Two rod holders here. You're going to have more rod holders on the top where your rocket launcher is. This one also has the rear sunshade. We've got that up in the showroom right now so you can really see what it is. This is great for at those lower speeds. If you want to have a little bit of shade in the back, you can do so, but you'll also notice what Whaler did. Even with your rods up here, this is not in the way. So if you still need to grab access to it, you can do so. Just a nice thought that Whaler gives you. Standing below me, two massive fish boxes on either side. Uh, you're going to have this full bolster all the way through. As I said, this is an offshore fishing boat. Nice dive door over here. This is standard. So you're going to have a couple access points that you can get to on and off of this boat. Nice grab handle on the side. So when you can come on and off you can do so easily. Let's take a look at the helm on this. You're going to have two seats, individual armrests for both. Nice thing that whalers thought of. So if somebody wants to be standing here and while they're at control of the helm, if somebody wants to sit by them, they can. Look at the foot space that you have on this. If somebody wants to sit or stand, they've got a couple different spots that you can put your feet at. Just something nice that no matter where you're at, you can be in control and be comfortable. I mentioned earlier when I was at the back of the boat that a uh, sky hook and autopilot and auto route feature. That's what this is right here. So when you're standing here, simple press the button, it's going to hold your course. Uh, so if you want to head to Key West, say for example, you can pull it up on your charts, hold your auto heading, and it's going to hold you in a straight line doing so. What that does, other than look, make you look really, really cool when you have friends and family on the boat, is it's going to give you the best fuel consumption. You know, the shortest distance between two spaces is a straight line. That's going to hold you at that, and it's going to maintain your heading. Now, you still need to be at the helm. You still need to be in control and watch for things such as crab traps or any other thing that might be in the water. Uh, but it's nice when you're doing those longer hauls. Other than that, you're going to have twin Simrads here. This one is equipped with radar that we've got up on the top, although you can't see it. It is there. Simrad VHF, great glove box here, more charging ports. All your rocker switches are up on top. They're up and out of the way. So when you get into that rougher water, you're not going to crack it on your knees. Um, so it's a nice, thoughtful feature. This is the Outrage full enclosure. No matter what weather you get into, Anything like that is going to be nice and quiet. Although, if you still want to have that fresh breeze, you do have that automated wind vent in the front. Open that up, get the breeze. Another glove box on here. You'll notice the color matched from the outside underneath the hardtop. This is a light blue hull. We've also integrated that into the hardtop to give you that nice, you know, complement each other. And like I said, this is an offshore battle wagon. It's going to come equipped with your taco outriggers. Great feature. Let's go up into the bow. You'll notice on both sides, this does have the trolling seats. Nice and easy to flip down just to give you more seating. You do have that on both the port and starboard. As I go into the front, this boat certainly does not lack space. You can get a feel for the size of this boat. And again, more shade. This is removable. You can take it up, put it down in about 30 seconds, but it's nice if you want to hang out at the sandbar and you're not doing some serious fishing for the day and you want to have that shade, you can do that. This boat is a jack of all trades. You have this massive lounge in the front. 
similar to what you've seen on some of our other Whaler models, such as the Dauntless series. Great bow area, perfect to lounge in and hang out, but all the cushions are removable. In true Whaler fashion, you can use this all for fishing. This pops up, it's a great casting platform, or pop it open. Massive, massive storage. All the covers are currently located in here right now, but to give you an idea for the depth of this, I mean, I can stand in there and it's past my waist. Two buckets designated in there. It's a fishing boat. You can never have too many buckets, as funny as it sounds. Trust me, own the boat, you'll realize that you need them. Easy storage, easy to open. More seating up in the front. Massive bow up here. Concealed under that is going to be your windlass. You're going to have three points to access and use this windlass. Three points, what I mean by that. You're going to have your remote control up here so you can watch it. You're going to have another one at the dash that most people are going to use. And you're going to have your manual override up here if you need to. Also integrated into here is you're going to have a freshwater hookup. You're going to have more of that at the sink that I showed you in the back. You're going to have that also at the rear transom. Guys, this is the 28 Outrage. A lot of boat, a lot of options. Can't go, all, can't go through all of it in one video. So what do you have to do? If you want to learn more, come here and see it. It's located inside our showroom right now at Marine Max Venice. Don't worry if it's too cold. Don't worry if it's too hot. Come inside and see it. We're more than happy to go through the boat with you. Again, my name is Mike Ulrich. Thanks for watching.